Hello there! My coach is here with a tutorial that shows you how to create your own custom models for Blockbuster mode. To create a custom model for Blockbuster mode, you can either take out your favorite text editor and describe your custom model using special JSON scheme, to which link is in description, or use MCME, Minecraft model editor for Blockbuster actors. To show you how to create a custom model, I'll create a model of a blockling. Blockling is a block creature from a Minecraft mod called Blockling. So let me start by removing all the limbs from this actor. So basically now, first let me import a texture of the my Blockling. He's gonna look like a bookshelf. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to create a block itself. Uh, but before that I must do uh, change the size of the blockling, the bounding block basically. So it's gonna be about 8.9, no, 0 0.9, 0 0.9 and 0 0.9. Okay, so next step is to basically map this limb to this block. To do that I basically what I need to do is to change the size properly. So now we have a model. So next I want to make it a little bit smaller. I think it's gonna be 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Then I have to, to raise it a little bit. So I think 8 should be sufficient. Um, no, more. Uh, Twelve. Um, okay, now what I'm going to do is to create. Wait, before doing that, I want to actually to draw the eyes. So yeah, that's the blocking. Now I'll create uh, legs and arms. So let me move that here. I'll turn on sh the limb guides. So wait, first I want to change that to the head. Head. Limb. It's going to be two by two by eight. Yeah, I think that's gonna be enough. And then I'm gonna move it a little bit up and change to anchor to zero. Now let's determine which leg it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a left leg. To do that, I'm gonna move it, rotate it a hundred degrees. Place it. It's gonna be no the other way. So I'll hide the texture editor. Okay, so now I need to create more legs. So let me deselect, create another one. It's gonna be right leg. Same thing to eight two zero eight negative four now because that's the right leg and uh, mirrored or maybe other way around. I'm gonna do the left leg mirrored. Then I have to create the arms. And tada! Our blocking is ready. So now let's see how it's gonna look in the game. So once we've finished with the model, let's import it into the game. So before we're gonna import it into the game, we first have to export the model from MCME. So to do that, just press export model. Then you'll see there is some JSON config. So what you do is save as, 
and then save it somewhere on your disk. So let me also to export the skin skin image as okay so we exported everything we needed now we need to import it into the game so here are my assets so png so let's copy them and go to minecraft and go to minecraft folder there is a config folder if you have installed the blockbuster mod already then you'll see blockbuster folder and you go to models create new folder block links then paste everything inside of this folder then rename your model into model.json create here a folder called skins and drop it inside of the skins folder so I remember it was bookshelf okay so after that we go into the game and the model should be over there so here I am in the game and that's our blocking it looks like in the editor right let's make it more dynamic you actually don't need to do much of stuff all you have to do is just click some uh, check boxes in this area so first I'm gonna add swinging and swiping to the right arm swinging it basically means when you move the limbs gonna swing like that I'll add this to the right leg to the left leg and to this one leg also okay then I'm add, gonna add some other elements like idle. Idle is basically means when the when the model is standing, it's gonna like a little rotate a little bit to create like a sense of idle. Then we're gonna add the holding items to the arms. okay so now it is done all we need to do is just export another time save it go to blockbuster models block links and here model this on and replace it look at my blocking now he's much better right so he has an axe and he has a shield and that's all renders Oh, but when you sneak, happens this. Well, now we have to adjust some pauses. To save a little bit time with all that stuff, I'm just going to copy-paste all those pauses. Because I'm really lazy. I'm not going to change all those values in the editor. So now, I saved it. And now I can return to my uh, PMCME. Okay, let me show you what it does. So I just copy paste it, and if I didn't copy paste it, I'll have to deal with that basically. Now, if I'll import that block link in the sneaking pose, I'm gonna have sneaking. Okay, that's cool. So what I'll do for sneaking pose is basically I just like reduce its y value. So let's say about like nine, nine, and there's twelve. We also have to, I think, to change from flying a little bit, maybe. What I'm going to do for flying is just rotate 90 degrees in the other way, of course, to make it... Oh, no, 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 I got a better idea. 90 degrees here, and 90, 90 degrees over there. Let's try 90 degrees here. Wait. I shouldn't probably use this one. Yeah, for flying pause it's gonna be like that. So what I'm gonna do is just export another time. Here, blocking. And let's see what will happen in the game. So let's see how our sneaking pause is working. So let's run a little bit and then shift. 
Yeah, now that's much better than <laughs> that box that's stuck in the floor. Okay, now let's try out with the Elytra, the flying pose. Let's see what happens. Yeah! That definitely looks pretty cool, right? That's it with our custom model. Chainlock video for 1.3 shows all the changes, but it doesn't really cover the export model command. So let me show you in this video how to export in-game models in the custom model format. So all you have to do is just export model, then you want to specify which model you want to export. Not all of these are working, only the ones that are living entities, like zombie, animals, mobs. Okay, so for this tutorial I'm gonna export only three of them. Zombie, then skeleton, and also enderman. Okay, so these are three exported models that we had. So zombie, enderman, and skeleton. They're, they are like legit custom models. So, but if I'll try to morph into them, like skeleton, you'll see they are also static. So, what you wanna do? See, I'm trying to sneak. Nothing happens. Let's try a litter. Well, yeah. What we need to do is actually add those checkboxes. So let's import the exported models to the MCME. I think let's do it zombie. I think zombie is the most interesting. <laughs> Whoa, that looks kind of weird. Okay. Um. Then I have to import the zombies skin. Uh, all I have to do is like add idle for left, idle and five and four right, then swinging for legs, and it's not supposed to swing and swipe. Then that's right, um, and that's left. Wait, no. That's left. So yeah, and that is looking. So now we export the zombie, same it back to the, uh, to the model, and now let's see it in the game. As you already can see, the arms of the zombie is idling. So now let's try to morph into zombie. Oh yeah, that looks much better. So now we have the the head that looks, then we have the movement of the legs, we have swiping, the holding of the items. So yeah, that's much better, right? That's it guys, go and create some models of nice spirits and scary monsters. Thanks for watching, bye!